next tonight to a devastating fire that destroyed a family home in Commerce City. Two people are in the hospital tonight after firefighters rescued them from their home on Kearney Street near 62nd Avenue. Gabriella Vidal is your reporter in Adams County. Gabby, you got to the scene just as firefighters arrived. You spoke with people who were in the home when the fire started. Yeah, Karen, both people who were inside the home and those who were waiting to find out if their loved ones had made it out safely. But thankfully, no one died in this fire. And that's thanks in part to some of the fire crews who worked to pull victims out of the fire. Honestly, it's something really difficult that we just face. Coranda Contreras Castan and her family are among a handful of Commerce City residents who were inside their home on this property when a fire broke out. There were six people living in our home, my husband, me, and our four kids. My kids were really scared, and now they're really sad because they say we don't have a home now, we don't have a place to live. The property, which residents say has multiple living units, was on fire for nearly two hours. I feel bad for my sister-in-law and my brother because they lived there. But I was like, oh my God. I was like, I don't know what to do. Sofia like, Meniz, who lives next to the property that burned down, says she woke up to the sound of an explosion. I mean, I'm just glad my dad's house didn't burn down because, I mean, we wouldn't have nowhere to go. An explosion residents say they believe was caused by someone barbecuing next to the building which South Adams County fire officials say they are still investigating. It lit too much propane, the, it went too high up, and the whole house started burning down. Flames that trapped two people inside the basement of the structure. I took a step back and I saw this piece of wood moving, like going back and forth and yelling, and they were down in the basement. It was Chief Andrew Fairbairn and his battalion crew that led rescue operations. This is kind of the one thing we trained for our entire lives and our careers, and. That moment happened for us today. Together, they helped pull out the two victims to safety. Well, it was about a six and a half to seven foot drop. It was a small basement window. I instructed these two guys to get the victim out to Chief Fairbairn, and then I went and did another search of the basement to look for any more further people. There was nobody else left inside. And fire crews say that they don't know at this time how many people were inside the home when the fire broke out. And also the Red Cross was there earlier in the afternoon to assist those who have now been displaced. In Commerce City, Gabriella Vidal covering Colorado First. All right, Gabby, thank you. And Gabriella is your reporter in Adams County. So far this year, she has covered everything from a new app used to report sex assault to drone soccer marijuana regulation and deteriorating bridges on I-25. So if you have an issue that you want Gabby to look into, we sure hope you'll send her an email to our website.